Nagel in the in studio. This one, um, I love the aroma on this. Well, great. It has a good smell. <laughs> I didn't know so. what you were going to lead in with. <laughs> that wasn't <laughs> what I was anticipating. Uh, uh, every week we do the beer of the week, and uh, Nagel comes in, and here we are once again. And uh, what is this one? I like it. This is uh, my ode to the uh, pending summer that we're going to experience today with a little bit of 80-degree temperature. Yeah. So. Uh, this is one that came out last year from Adirondack Brewing Company. It's back again. It's called Tangerine Dream, and uh, it was hugely successful last year. It's a nice, light, easy-drinking beer. Um, they use a lot of hops that have tangerine and uh, tropical fruit aromas, so uh, you've got that going for it. And then they use a Belgian technique where they don't add the fruit to augment the hops or to complement the hops. They uh, they actually only add the rind of it. Oh. So, uh they made a couple of brews of this last year, and they saw how successful it was. So this year, uh, they actually they contract with a farmer, this old guy down in Florida. And uh, when they put in the order this year, the old guy called him up and goes, "What are you doing up there in New York with all these uh, dried out tangerine rinds?" You know, he he was quite curious. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he's probably we're this brewery in upstate New York is probably the largest uh, consumer of uh, dried tangerine. Tangerine <laughs> rinds. Rinds. Just uh, like Escaro in Utica. Or yeah. Escaro in Utica. Right. They know? do say that, right? That. Um, no, yeah. no other city is really uh, we're in like demand. We're like the leader, for it. leader of Escaro nice. purchases. You got to be first in something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. So, um, but again, you still get that flavor that comes off the off the hops. Yeah, it's a yeah. It, you know it's a really really well balanced beer. So it's nice and soft and uh, sweet and then when it finishes it finishes dry yeah you get the hoppy flavor and then just a little bit of that tangerine rind and it's not bitter per se uh, yeah, the aftertaste gonna, but yeah and you're not going to get a sickish uh, this is this is very subtle sure i think i would i would say that all right um and yeah the rind now, uh, how did like blue moon mm -hmm. uh, you put the orange slice in blue moon is there a reason for that for that particular beer or was that a marketing concept you know it, in europe with hefeweizens and belgian whites and stuff yeah. like that um they would, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Garnish, yeah, garnish yeah. with a with a lemon. Ordinarily, I, I was gonna say, didn't it start with a lemon? Yeah, oh, traditionally in Germany, uh, it would be a lemon, and then uh, you know, um, what's his name, Keith uh, Villa, I believe, is the brewmaster okay, out yeah. there at Sandlot. Uh, when he created Blue Moon, he wanted it to be something different, so. He, uh, he used an orange, and the rest is history. I mean, yeah. that was really like a flag that says, look, I'm drinking something different and better, and you should I try think that was a – so basically marketing, marketing campaign. Yeah. yeah, I guess. I mean, it yeah. might have been inadvertent and organic, right. and it just kind of caught on. You Because it but. did I, – I remember when that was first presented, that beer was first presented. Mm -hmm. um, it, I, they came in the studio. So you might have been one that came in. Uh, probably not because you were at the brewery at the time. Correct, yep. So – but it was the company you're working for now, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, they came in, and they brought an orange, and that – caught everybody's attention they're slicing up oranges why are you slicing up oranges and 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 this comes with a with a garnish uh, of, of orange and you know that beer has probably been around for 15 years almost 20 years now and it still continues to grow every year you yeah, know it's a great yeah. introductory beer for people who uh, aren't necessarily into drinking anything that's not yeah, pale yeah. and yellow um, they get a hold of that and they're like wow this is really approachable mm -hmm. really drinkable and yeah. I like it and then that you know opens the next door to the next yeah. door until you fall down the rabbit hole as far as and I then have. And you're done. <laughs> and it's all over with. And one other uh, brief thing. I see that the uh, the breweries, uh, Epic's Matt Breweries, uh, is it Strawberry Tart? Strawberry Tart. That's an awesome one. It's, uh, that is awesome, and it is out there. I, I was in a store yesterday and a huge display yesterday. Nice. I'll bring so. that next week for you. That's yeah. a really, yeah. really good one. Thank you, yeah. Nagel. Yeah, that, it's really, this is it, a good one, too. As though, we nice. get into the nice weather, these yep. are the nice weather beers. So. Yeah, we're almost to Saranac Thursdays.